tuned up workout 10 days out from my first race of the season. Uh, so we have three or two times 300, uh, 1,000 meters at 5K pace, and then we have three broken 800, so 600 followed by 200, and then a couple 400s at the end. So it should be a pretty tough session for sure. Heart rate's ready, up and ready to go. So I'll do my first half of my workout in the A6 Meta Speed Skies. And then when the workout gets a little tough, we'll throw on the spikes, the Meta Speed MDs. They've been so great to work with and A6 has been a company that literally if I need anything, they'll send it to me. And so it's pretty lucky that that's my first experience. I've heard some bad experiences with other companies. So yeah, super fortunate. All right, five minutes rest now. 50.7, so right in that range. Super important to not overdo this part because we do race in 10 days, and so it would almost be better to be closer to 51. So 50.7 is pretty close to 51, so happy about that for sure. Yeah, I gotta try and be patient in this first four because we were just running 3K pace, which is faster than 5K pace, which this K is gonna be at. So sometimes I like to get out a little hard or be a little bit of a rebel, and today is certainly not the day for that. hurt a little bit it was good though so i'll do a 600 and i'll get one minute's rest and i'll do a 200 and i get two minutes 15 seconds rest so i'll do in the meta speed sky road shoes for the first one and the last two i'll put spikes on um so i'll have to change spikes in two minutes 15 seconds so i'm uh pretty slow with tying the shoes so we'll see if i can make it I got a little little excited on the six, so I still like was a half second fast, but it's not a huge deal. But as a professional, you wanna hit it exactly how your coach wants, so try to tame it down just a slight on this one. Funny, like mid rep, you're panicking. Well, I hit the split. Oh, this feels bad. And it's hard to relax, know that you're gonna learn something from the workout. But yeah, during the rep, it's my mind's going all the way, all over the place, panicking. Am I gonna hit it? Man, this hurts. <laughs> That wind is nasty on the back stretch. You're so smooth, so relaxed. And it's like you hit a wall here. So it ends up equaling out, but you just work so hard on this stretch. You go from being super confident and you really have to focus. Like, all right, I'm still gonna hit the time, but it's gonna have to be a little gritty. So that's how it goes sometimes. Six minutes set rest and then a minute rest in between the two 400s. These ones should be on the easier side, that was definitely the hard part of the workout. 
it's almost like that first quarter we're trying to get your legs tired and then you do the real work and this is kind of just icing on top of the cake these last fours Of course, now the wind isn't there at all. Whew, wind's playing mind tricks on me there. Whew, that was a really good workout. Yeah, definitely felt way better than I thought. I flew in from Canada on Monday to get today easy and slept well last night, so. Executed pretty much exactly what I wanted. Those last fours were touch quick, but luckily they're only 400 meters, so those won't hurt, but those engine breakdowns, I'm very, very happy about. It's really important to get that like post run protein and carb. So for me, it's 25 to 30 grams of protein and about 72 grams of carbs. So uh, I work with a company called Grupo, and then I always do a form roll and stretch you can't go wrong with sleep and sleep's the most important. Thanks for the support. I'm really trying to amp up my YouTube channel this year. I know I said in the past I would do it, but this year I'm really committing to it. Uh, so follow, like, and subscribe and let me know what you want to see next. I'm a rhythm runner. I'm not a power runner at all. I mean, my girlfriend had joked that I had no rhythm besides running.